actions may have been. I looked it up, and, and scholars kind of debate over which books of the New Testament that, um, that Paul wrote. But to think that somebody that went through um, that time when Christ died on the cross, was put in a tomb, and then rose from the dead and appeared to his disciples, somebody like him that would actually um, try to harm or kill people that claim that Jesus Christ rose from the dead, someone like him became one of the biggest followers of Christ. And the fact that he wrote 8 to 12 books in the Bible, and there's only 66 books in the Bible. So God used someone like him, who not only was uh, a bad man, or had injured, killed people, but he injured or killed Jesus' own disciples that were claiming to be uh, a believer in Christ. God used him to write 20% of the Bible. So if you have a Bible, and you look at most of his most of his books are in the, in the back of the Bible, the back of the New Testament. God used Paul to write 20% of the Bible. And that was a guy that was going around harming or killing people that were preaching the name of Jesus. So all of this, all of this circles around to the message that I wanted to give you guys today is that not only can God use anyone, but he will use anyone. And he will probably use the people that are least qualified. So I know that in my day, um, you know, those that were here in January and were here to hear my testimony, you know, my day and my story does not lead up to the conclusion where you would think I would be in a youth church talking to the youth of today about the gospel. Okay? I have a past in which. I, I was a sinner, and I'm still currently a sinner. So I, I struggle with sin. I think everybody does. Um, I have a past that involves drug use. I have a past that involves, um, you know, doing a lot of things that you probably shouldn't do at my age. Um, a lot of the stuff that I dealt with was between age 14 and 18, which is very young. But, you know, my, my past did not lead to the fact that you think that I would end up being a state trooper. You wouldn't think that God would use me to go out there and, um, and, and enforce the laws. And then God used me to become a sergeant of the Highway Patrol. So now not only am I a cop, but I'm leading other cops of, that are out working the street now. So now I'm leading a group of a dozen men and women in law enforcement and try to teach them how to do the job and do it with ethics and do it with uh, moral code and to serve the people of this community the way that they need to be served and to, and to protect people in the community. And then to, to come here and use some of the, for God to use me to come here and, and speak to Paul's youth. So it's all circling back to the point Still to this day, I question whether I, whether there isn't maybe a more qualified person to come and speak to Paul's youth. There's some days where I question, maybe there's a more qualified person to do the job that I'm doing as a sergeant of the Highway Patrol. And all these stories through the Bible says that you don't have to be qualified at all. In fact, God is probably going to use the least qualified person to accomplish his will. 